Good evening, Pottersville Church. Here is our message for this evening. God will give you strength. We all have moments where we want to give up. Those moments where we are mentally and physically trained because we are not seeing the results that we want or that we hope for. Eventually, that brings us to a place where we are prone to look up and just wonder, Lord, what good can come out of this? Maybe you're also asking that question this evening. You are tired of fighting, fighting for something you don't even understand. You don't even know when it will end. Everything around you just doesn't make sense and it looks so messy. But in the book of Isaiah 40, God is promising us. He's promising to give us strength if we trust in Him with our tiredness, if we trust in Him with our worry, if we trust in Him with our anxiety and our hopelessness. Let me read with you Isaiah 40, verses 29 to 31. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youth will become weak and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. What a promise from our God. Number one, the Lord wants us to trust Him. If you trust the Lord Jesus Christ, you live with assurance that God's strength is real and available and sufficient for you. Secondly, our God is not stingy with his power. He gives his power to the faint and weary as we read in the Bible. And he makes sure that those who are weak, he also increases his strength. So I want to encourage you that thirdly, wait for the Lord in expectancy and hope in him. Know that he's not hiding away from you, but he's available just for you. Acknowledge your weaknesses to him. Be vulnerable to our Father God. Let him know how you feel. Let him know how weak you feel at that time. When you think you are strong enough on your own, you will not make it, but you will fail. So you need to prepare yourself to receive the divine help from our God by being vulnerable towards him. May we be, we be encouraged this evening to stop looking around our situations and stop being consumed by what we are seeing around us. Let us look up to our Father God and let us be reminded who our God is. He is available and he wants to give us strength, but we need to come to him and receive his strength for us. Let's pray together this evening. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much. Thank you, Lord, for this big promise that you want to give us strength. In times where we feel tired, confused, and not knowing what, will, what good will come out of this, but God, you are saying, come to me. I want to give you strength. So, Lord, we bring our families to you this evening. We bring the entire kingdom of Eswatini to you, Lord, that you may renew our strength. And let us be reminded of who you are, O oh God. Bless us, O oh God, as we continue to soldier on, knowing that you are right there with us, O oh God, and you want to renew our strength each and every day. May we only focus on you, on your goodness, on your greatness, on who you are, because you are our loving God. You are our loving Father, and you want to give us new strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <music>